Good morning, guys. So this is going to be part six of the shop garage build or garage shop build. Uh, and it's starting to rain. <laughs> so today is a poor day for the concrete. Uh, it's early still. It's like about 7.30, I think. Uh, the concrete is supposed to be here at 10.30. So in a few hours. Um, today is a big day. Um, long time coming. Uh, and this is a big milestone, you know, for this project. Um, I've been wanting to get my shop built for well over a year now and it's always been delayed put on the back burner you know whatever <laughs> doing other projects and other stuff around you know the property um so and i know i still have a long ways to go um you know getting the slab done like i said is a, a big part of it um but i still have a long ways before the shop is ready and usable so i just want to show real quick um what I finished up that wasn't in the last video. And then uh, I guess the next scene will probably be when the concrete truck gets here. So I just wanted to show this. Um, I was missing a couple of the fittings for the 90s. Uh, for the two inch electrical conduit, I ended up using that box because it has a straight 90 because the two inch 90 bend is really huge and it wouldn't have fit in here. Um, not in the way that this is set up. So everything is coming underneath. It's all, you know, reburied again right there, which is how it'll sit, you know, until the forms and everything come off. And then of course, once we start to pour the concrete, the brick will get removed. Um, these pieces of wood will get removed and then all that's gonna be covered by the concrete. And then this is my isolated slab for the power hammer. Um, this was on the last video. Um, so the last thing that I have to do really is I'm going to lay out plastic over this whole thing uh, and that will be for the concrete to get poured on top of and then I also will be installing um, I guess it's called screeding hooks so um, I'll pound in a stake and then it's this little metal hook that holds a 2x4 so you put your 2x4 at the same level as your forms and then it gives you something to screed across. And I think the way we're going to pour this is we're going to pour the back 10 feet first. And then we'll switch and we'll pour the front 10 feet because it's, you know, 20 foot deep. I think that's what the guy said. I have a few guys coming to help me with this. Finishers, um, basically, that are just going to assist and um, do a lot of the work too. Because I can't do all this by myself. <laughs> and... Just to show you guys what the screeding hook looks like. It's this type of device. Um, it's basically just a piece of um, cast iron. And it has a little nut here. So you slide this on your stake. It will sit like that. And then the 2x4 fits in this space here in between the stake and here. 2x4 will be above this. Um, and should be above the stake too so that you're not hitting your um, screeding tool on the stake. So then you set those and then they're adjustable so that you can match the side form height. But that's it. So I got to get these put into after I put the plastic down. All right, so we got everything set up. Um, just waiting for the truck to get here. Got the plastic laid. Got the um, screeding rods there. Yeah, got the crew showed up. They bought, brought the power trowel. So, yep, just waiting on the truck now. All right, so cement is here. He's gonna back up the driveway. Yeah, finally get started on this. Be a little bit late, but that's okay. At least the sun is pretty much out now. A little bit of clouds. All right, here he comes. Finally. <laughs> Let's just hope that he makes it through uh, 
this area is kind of thin. So that's why these flags are up here so that he can see where the fence is. I guess my T posts are really strong. <laughs> He's coming up the driveway and he caught the T post right there. Alright, so the truck is in place. It's very loud. It's gonna start pouring. I'm just gonna put it on a time lapse. We're gonna do the, the back half first and then we'll come back and we'll do the front half. All right, well, once that started going, it went really quick. And of course I overestimated. So there's still probably a yard, yard and a half in the truck. And that's even after I really quick threw a form up here to fill that. But the majority of it, I mean, I guess all of it is done. Um, so now it's just gonna be the finishing. And the rain's been kind of coming and going. It's clearing up now though, so hopefully it stays clear get to the point where they can power trial this so yeah these guys work quick did a good job man crazy to see this <laughs> so one of the guys that came to help finish the concrete also makes jerky and it's uh, Emmett's jerky and he's on Facebook and Instagram has all kinds of different flavors and the funny thing is if you see inside the bag he includes a flosser with the jerky <laughs> So he gave me this one, which is smoke, and then he also had a couple other flavors. So check him out on Instagram and Facebook. All right, so now we are just letting it sit. Whoa, try not to fall. Hachi, get out of the concrete. Oh boy. So now it's just setting up. Uh, we'll give it, I think maybe another hour or so. Luckily it's nice and sunny, even though there's some clouds. Um, that little side over there I just noticed looks like it's not even level, so that's okay. I'll fix it later. Just wanted to get some of the concrete because there's quite a bit was dumped here and there was still probably a yard or more in the truck. So, yeah, this is looking nice. getting close it's been sitting for a little while it started raining a little bit again now the sun's coming back out again this is pretty amazing <laughs> Not bad. Looking pretty smooth. Almost time to put the whirly bird on it. So, looks like all the forms held really good. I don't have any bulging. I don't think I see. Looks like there might be a slight bulge right there. But, I mean, for the amount of gravel that was over here holding that up, that's pretty good. And I don't even think that that's that. I think it just looks that way because of the, the joint. But yeah, it's looking pretty good. This is pretty crazy. <laughs>
So this is the second run. So basically as this sets up, he'll increase the speed of the power trowel as well as the angle of the blades. So as it becomes more hard, that'll run faster and higher on the blades and give it a smoother and smoother finish. Pretty cool. What's up, Jerry? All the excitement's over. Hi, hot team. What's up, buddy? Oh, boys. No, don't get too excited. All right, well, the crew is left. The slab is done. So next I'm gonna to have to start pulling these forms off. That won't be till tomorrow or maybe even the next day. We're gonna to, gotta to see. I might have to go to work the next two days, so I don't know if I'll get to it by then or I might wait till Friday. I don't know. But man, that's so cool to finally be to this step. <laughs> I think it has hardened up. Still being a little careful, but yeah. Left and right, nailed it. All right, so it is the next day and uh, I'm gonna start pulling some of these forms off. Everything cured up real nice. It rained last night too, so I have a little bit of water on here, which is fine. It just helps it cure slower, which is better for the concrete, makes it harder. See the scratch marks from the dogs out here playing. <laughs> I guess they need to get their nails trimmed. So, yep, I'm going to start pulling the forms off. Ooh, man. Well, there's the first board off. Not super smooth, but it's pretty good. This will eventually have a, a sidewalk poured up against it too. So, yeah. Oh, don't fall. So, first board off. I gotta work on the rest of them <laughs> at least doesn't take as long to tear it down as it did to set it up all right so it has been several days uh, I got all the forms off now finally I think everything is cured up nicely we had a little bit of rain you know at night a couple times I got all of the stakes out except for one right here. <laughs> that thing is like jammed in that rock. So I gotta see if I can get that out still. If not, I guess I'm gonna have to cut it off. So, everything's done. You can see dog prints and scratch marks everywhere because this is their new fighting arena or their play arena. <laughs> So what I'm going to start working on now is digging this out and then I'm going to pour the concrete in there that's going to be for the power hammer just so that I have a nice even slab and everything's done and then that'll be, you know, the slab video will be over. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to be working on next.
Okay, got the canopy up. I got everything staged here. Shovels, hammer, I got plastic. I got my mixer. I got nine bags of concrete. I'm not sure how much this is gonna take. I have more over under the carport. And then this material here is uh, it's expansion joint material. So basically once I remove all this, then I'm gonna line that. So it'll be in between the two slabs basically. Uh, yeah, so that should be enough. This is basically four feet by two and a half feet roughly. Um, so yeah, we should be good. So I'm gonna start breaking this up and then digging this gravel out and then uh, pulling the wood forms out. So I got uh, a bunch of that rock removed or the gravel removed uh, enough to expose the two by sixes all the way, you know, all the way down and further than them even. So if you remember in the beginning of the video, I said that I was going to do pocket screws on here because I knew that the slab was going to be poured on the outside. So I wouldn't have been able to get to the screws if they were, you know, screwed in from the outside corners. So I have to remove the screws. So I put three basically in each corner, all with pocket screws. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those pulled out and then get these forms broken off. Okay, forms are all out. I'm going to uh, end up digging this down a little bit more because the edges are kind of rounded in. So um, I think I wanna try to get at least 12 inches in here. Um, for this power hammer, you don't need to have a humongous slab because um, the way that it's designed, it, it um, you don't need the big foundation like you do with those really huge power hammers. So <clears throat> I'm going to continue to dig down a little bit more and then uh, we'll get the expansion joints put on right to the level of the concrete and we'll get some plastic laid in the bottom of here and then up the sides a little and then uh, start mixing concrete and filling up the hole. It's cool. Hi buddy. What you doing, huh? Hottie. <laughs> okay. So I got the plastic in there. I have the expansion joint material in there. Uh, and then as it starts to fill up, I'll pull the tape off of there just to kind of hold it in place until the concrete's pushing against it. So, uh, now I'm going to start mixing and dumping. <laughs> okay, so that's, uh, what was it, 12 bags now. I had nine originally over here. We got another three, still not quite full. So I'm going to do another uh, three bags, I think. Um, hopefully I'll have a little left over because I have a couple little pukas to fill in over here. There were a couple spots where I saw um, where there was rebar exposed, so I just want to put some cement over that. So. I can go ahead and pull the tape off now, and then I'm gonna get three more bags, top this off. All right, it is full now. So when I just did the video, I was actually at 15 bags, not 12 bags. So it took uh, 18 bags total. Um, so yeah, quick calculation on that is uh, 1,440 pounds. So that's a uh, 18, 80 pound bag, so. <laughs> and uh, 
what was that like 180 bucks 190 dollars it's like ten dollars and change per bag so yeah hard to believe that that block is 14 well almost 1500 pounds 1440 yeah so now i'm gonna let it set up a little bit smooth it out and then just start working it all right well it is the next morning and this section of slab is all done cured up yeah pretty cool so this concrete the quick crete is uh 4, psi strength um, the rest of the slab is 3,000 psi but it also has the fiber mesh in it just if anybody was wondering uh, what the concrete uh, strengths are hi hati what's up buddy Oh yeah, stretch. So yeah, that's it. That's gonna be it for this video. Let me turn the camera around. All right guys, well that's gonna wrap up this video. The slab is now completely done. Um, the main slab, of course, the isolated slab for the power hammer, which was the last bit here you saw me working on. Um, everything now is complete on the foundation. Uh, the next step, which will be the next video, is gonna be starting to do the layout for the bricks, which there will be a four foot high brick wall that goes around the back side here, and then this side, and then there will be a single course of bricks that go around the other side here. Um, there will be an opening for a man door and an opening for a garage door. Um, that's gonna involve drilling holes and anchoring vertical rebar that's gonna go inside the bricks, um, laying the bricks themselves, doing the mortar, and then uh, eventually filling the bricks with concrete uh, once we get to that point. I don't know how soon that'll happen because I will probably time that to when I do my next concrete pour so I can just do all that at once, um, which is going to involve the, uh, the back sidewalk here next to the, the water catchment. There's gonna be a sidewalk there. Um, yeah, so there's still a lot of steps. Um, <laughs> I have no idea how many parts this is going to end up being because this is a pretty big job, you know. I mean, just getting the building itself built, um, not to mention, you know, doing the roofing, adding windows, um, exterior siding, you know, interior finishes, uh, electrical work, if I end up doing any electrical work. Um, I mean, right now there's no electricity that's going to be running to this, but eventually there will be, um, hopefully solar so that this building is just completely independent. Um, yeah, but that's it. So I just wanna say, as always, thank you for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, please subscribe if you have not already, and uh, I will see you guys on the next video. Aloha.